Sean Sewell with InGearMint.com and this here is the new Weston Ridgeline for the 22-23 season. It's not out yet, but I've been testing this one ahead of schedule uh, last month, month and a half here in the mountains of Colorado, you see behind me. And I have a lot of awesome takeaways to share with you on this Ridgeline splitboard. Vernon Key does the graphics here amazing Native American artist. We're going to have an interview with him. Will Records will be doing that here soon. So we'll learn more about Vernon and his take on uh, the art here. The top sheet, castor bean oil, awesome good stuff. I haven't really had any snow or ice stick to it, even though it is full on spring conditions today. Um, hasn't really stuck to the, the base or the, the top sheet at all. Wipes up really easily. Very durable construction. As you can see right here, extra reinforcements, which is nice because the split borders tend to hit things like the other ski <laughs> we're touring. Now, there's a lot of cool things you've probably seen right away. Like, what are those holes for? Well, optional, and I suggest you, you choose this, uh, they have their custom made Western branded Pomoka skins. Pomoka, huge fans of their skins, I think probably among the best. Uh, great um, climbing, great touring skins, very well made. So Weston teamed up with them to make their own custom skins, and those skins have clips. The clip goes in here, and then they're, they're pre-cut, so don't have to worry about cutting them and messing them up. And on the tail there, clips into place. So you already have a pre-cut, pre-tensioned, as good as possible skin setup, if you choose to get that, and I would. Other features, Karakorum tip and tail clips, which are great because they lock into place. See if I can unlock it real quick. Yep, unlock and then boom, back into place and then groovy. The Karakorum updated ultra clips, which are adjustable so you can create more tension down the road. You choose the interface. On the here, I have a Phantom setup and I review on the Phantom, I review on the Sparks, and I review on the Karakorum. All three are great. All three are made in America too, which is really cool. So, on to the board itself. This is a 162 wide, which is a really great size. I usually ride between 162 and 166 wide, 11 and a half boot. And uh, I found it to be really, really nice. You can see right there, 162 wide. Camber profile, which is great for, well, two really good things. Touring, if you look under the touring area, it is ideal for touring. And in fact, I've, I found it to be among the best, if not the best touring board I have ridden, it just tours like a goat. I haven't even used the risers last month. And uh, I can show you a picture of my today's skin track. You just kind of point it and up we go. Pretty awesome stuff. Camber is also great for really good hold on aggressive terrain. This board is not what I would consider a uh, easy to ride board. It's not hard to ride. It's just not a beginner's board. This is Weston's premier hard charging snowboard, a split board, and you need to treat it as such. So going into it, um, I knew that going into it. And so coming from a, the boards I've been testing before that were rockered and cambered and I love them. They're fun. They're playful. Uh, but this is stiffer. It is more capable of pointing it and just going. It'll it'll handle what you want to throw at it. I'm fortunate in the fact that I've got to test it in several conditions. And I'll put videos and pictures in this uh, v review as well so you can see those conditions. I've had it in powder and I was surprised how well it floated for being a camber board. It flowed really well. I've had I had great powder days on this board. It um, has handled corn snow like we have right now really well. I had a really, really great time um, today on the corn snow. And then it handled variable snow really well like the first few times i got a chance to go test it it was let's call it what is crap snow and this board did a great job of uh standing in the, in control and it's just a beautiful board i love the little hits and go forth and slay pow and uh gosh the profile is amazing i will uh put links below for all the technical stuff i'm not going to try and give you that jargon it's a directional cambered aggressive split board that's really well made. The graphic is awesome. And so far it's been putting a ear to ear grin on my face the last month, month and a half using it. 
I would recommend getting the skins that come with it. Pomoka is some, like I said, the best skins out there. And the fact that they already had the holes pre-drilled and no, it does not affect the performance. Um, if you've never seen this before, it's a very tried and true technique of putting the hole through the ski or the split board. And it's just, it creates a very pleasant split boarding experience on the way up, on the way down, reliable, and just well built. And I love that they're using the Karakorum hardware here so you can lock it in place and tighten things up should you need to. All right, so don't want to get you too excited because it's not actually out yet, but I've been using it and I want to share with you my experiences, how I've used it, where I've used it, and what I think about the board. So there it is, the Ridgeline from Weston. When it does become available, I'll put links below where to purchase. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for and until next time, take care.